Hey DIYers, today I will be demonstrating how you can create your own Rice Krispie Treat wrappers. Now this is one that I created. This is from my favorite movie, Hocus Pocus. I did a very simple design, um, pulling in some elements and colors that represent Halloween. And then on the back it says, Happy Halloween. And then I also did another one here, made with different material and different paper. So I will be going over that in this tutorial. And then this is kind of plain in the back, but I did use some of my favorite colors to create this design. So we will be going over the elements and the dimensions of how you can create your own. And I will go deeper into some of the materials I use to create my custom crispy treat wrapper. So let's get started. So for this tutorial, I am using Canva. My paper is eight and a half by 11 inches. However, I want mine to be horizontal format. So I put 11 by eight and a half inches. And then you wanna create custom design. Now, as far as the dimension for your Grace Krispie Treat, uh, you want to make sure that you have all the proper measurements. However, you can create yours directly through Canva or you can use the template that I have, which is linked down below in the description of this video. And once you use my template, it would allow you to print at least two on a piece of paper. Now, I am doing Hocus Pocus theme one of my favorite movies, by the way. And I'm just taking in the design and just stretching it out and placing it the way I see fit. And so by having the template, it allows me to see where my image need to go so that I don't mess up when I am wrapping it for the Rice Krispie Treat. I decided I wanted to add different elements. So I typed in clouds on Canva and I just added in some clouds and I'm just moving them around. So you just want to have really fun with the design process. Um, you can remove things, add things as you see fit and just keep it going. I decided I just wanted to keep it simple with pink in the background, pink and purple clouds. And now I'm doing the second design, um, bringing in some more elements and adjusting it to the template that I have created. So this template is making my life a lot easier because I don't have to try to figure out where the edges of the wrapper needs to go and where the picture needs to go to be in the center. So I'm really taking some colors that inspired me around the Halloween season and then I'm just making adjustment once again as I see fit. Uh, next, I'm gonna put Happy Halloween and put that on the back of the wrapper. If you want to, you can add some nutrition facts. So I will have a link for you for that. Um, but once you're done, you go ahead and download, make sure it's in PNG for the best quality and go ahead and print. Now I do have some paper that will be sharing with you guys. I am using the Koala paper. There's two different kinds that I like. It's the Pearl Glossy and the Glossy Photo Paper. I also have a paper crimper, regular scissors and the crimper scissors that I got from Dollar Tree, my double stick tape, and of course my Rice Krispie Treat. So I'm gonna show you the difference between these two papers. This is what the glossy one looked like. And then here is the pearl glossy. And honestly, I like both. Um, it looks a lot better in person with the pearl glossy. It has a nice finished touch, but it's all dependent on what you want. So this is the pearl glossy. I already had created the Rice Krispie Treat, but now I'm gonna show you how to assemble your Krispie Treat after you have printed it out. So you can just simply cut this out with your hand. However, if you have a Cricut machine, go ahead and use that. And that way you can knock out a lot of these a lot quicker. Now I'm gonna take my double stick tape, my crafter tape. I'll have a link down below for all of the materials that I am using. And then you wanna make sure you put the tape on both sides of your crispy treat. And then also at the bottom. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and place your crispy treat in the middle and overlap the edges from top to bottom. And then you want to press down all the way. Then you want to take the side of it, press in the middle, and then press the other edges out to make sure everything is sealed. And then you want to do the same for the other side. Now I'm going to take my paper crimper. This is definitely optional, but I want to give it that nice Rice Krispie Treat look. And so I'm being a little bit extra. However, you don't have to do this. 
And I also have my scissors to give it the nice uh, cut edge. Very similar to what a Rice Krispie Treat look like. And once again, I did get these scissors at Dollar Tree. However, I will have a link for you down below in the description. And once you do that, you are pretty much done, you guys. Super easy tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or want to see more videos like this, and I will create them. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.